David Robinson, my orders are to place you under arrest, Mr. Robinson. It seems there will be a retrial. Only an impartial jury can officially acquit David. I've got a job. Working for Grandpa. Don't worry. He won't be with us for long. Oscar says that this William Lester is the finest prosecutor in the city. I know a judge who could be very useful to us in this matter. Why won't you marry me? I love you. Why don't you want to eat with us anymore? It would seem my family has been tested by some higher power, forever pushing us beyond the limits of endurance. But though our trials and tribulations never cease, we are not downhearted. Each new calamity only serves to strengthen our resolve. Take Ben, for example. He has found work and it has transformed him. He is now quite the gentleman. Billy, too, has left the fold for new adventures. And though Christina is upset to see him gone, she will in time come round to the idea. As for me, my work continues apace. Of course, I worry about you, Father, sitting alone in your cell. But I am confident that these accusations against you will once again be proved worthless. They have no case against you. Emily sends her love to you. Our ongoing courtship is a consolation and a source of never-ending joy. You will not see what is right under your nose, that Billy was unhappy here and that is why he left. Well, of course he was unhappy, living in the stable with animals. I suppose you're having living in the guest bedroom. Yes, yes indeed I would. Well, then you'd make him an object of scorn. Look around you, this is Boston. We don't live in a treehouse anymore. We have servants. What about Bessie? Oh, Bessie's different. Why? Because... Because she's always been a servant. She was born to it. Well, so was Billy. Well, the difference between us, Emily, is that you approve of that state of affairs. For all my letters reassuring my father, in reality, our family seems to be coming apart at this news. Christina! You can't stay in there forever! Yes, I can. Are you all right? I heard you quarreling with Ernst. I'm afraid I'm going to break his heart. I never meant to do it. Oh, Mama. Is she still in there? Yes. Don't worry. She'll come out soon. No, I won't. How's Mr. Robinson? He's coping well. Thank you, Emily. Have they fixed a date for the trial yet? The day after tomorrow. Guilty, whichever way you look at it. Robinson attacked the man Seth Parsons, and he dies as a result. We think he died. There is no doctor's certificate to that effect. Are you implying that we have no case, Mr. Lester? Of course we have a case. Our testimony has to be presented with a little flair, that's all. The question is, will it achieve what you want? Will it make Emily Chan return to you? And what has that got to do with anything? Rather a lot, as I understand it. There is only one thing for you to understand, Mr. Lester. Robinson must pay for what he has done. You wanted to see me, sir. Uh, yes, my boy. Come in. So, how are you getting on? Passably well, sir. I've made one or two mistakes, which Mr. Cotterell has been kind enough to point out to me. Uh, but I'm learning all the time, sir. Splendid. 
And I'd like to thank you once again for giving me this yes, chance. Yes, yes, yes. Now listen to me very carefully. A new shipment has arrived today. I want you to go down to the docks and meet it. <laughs> yes, sir. I want you to make a full inventory of the cargo. Here are the necessary documents. I inventory? But Mr. Cotterell usually... Mr. Cotterell is occupied elsewhere. Don't argue with me, Ben. Uh, no, sir. Well, get on with it. Oh, and Ben. Don't fail me. Come on, have a little bit of this broth. Don't you mind? For me? What would Billy say if he saw you wasting away like this? He wouldn't care. Yes, he would. Just because he doesn't live here anymore doesn't mean he's not your friend. He'll probably be around to visit us in no time. Try and keep him away. Why did he leave then? We've been over this. He had to go. Christina, you have to understand. Things on the island, they were different. It was a special time. It was as though we dreamed it all. What about Ben? What about Ben? You met him on the island too, and he's still with us. That's different. I love Ben. But well, I love Billy. Well, I'll leave this here. And if you won't eat it for me, eat it for Mama. This is an awful time for her. She needs all of us, the whole family, to pull together. Instead, we're all at each other's throats. So please, Christina, think of her for once. Yes, Emily? I was wondering if... Will I be asked to testify? I don't see why. You weren't there when it happened. And you have had no dealings with Seth Parsons, have you? No. But I have had dealings with Bong Sen. Why does he take such an interest in all this? I really don't know, dear. I think he must be a very spiteful man. I did find something out. I found out who the judge is to be. Who is it? His name is Abraham Moss. Is he famous? Let's just say he's not known for his leniency. A hanging judge, that's what they call him. Mama! Christina! <laughs> You there? Excuse me. What is that? How many barrels? Hey, don't walk away. Take those barrels. Those have not been counted. I said, those have not been counted. Listen to me. I'm trying to make an inventory. Entire cargo gone astray? What were you doing, man? And this, this is supposed to be an inventory, huh? This worthless scrap of paper? Sir, I... Did I ask you to speak? A trained monkey might have fared better. Were it not for the fact that you were married to my granddaughter, I'd have you swapping decks on the first ship out of here. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Right. This time, this time we say no more about it. And I will not dock your wages, as I should, but it would give me no pleasure to take money from Joanna. Well, what are you waiting for?
Was everything accounted for? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, we let him stew on it for a day or two. You haven't said a word since you came home. Is everything all right at work? Yes. Why? No reason. Not like the monsoon, is it? Even the rain is different in Boston. Robinson, may I speak with you? Yes, dear, of course. I have to leave this house. Emily? Today, my bags are packed. I shall leave within the hour. I'm sorry, Mrs. Robinson. As much as I hate to leave you in your hour of need, I feel I can no longer be a member of this family. Will you forgive me? Uh, well, I, uh... I don't know what to say. Naturally, you were free to go. We always knew you would eventually, but why now? Is it something to do with the trial? No. What then? Have we offended you in some way? Far from it. You have been the only family I've ever really known. I will be forever in your debt. Only. Only what? It's Ernst, Mrs. Robinson. I see. He has asked me to marry him. And you've refused. I do love him, of course. To see him suffering daily, it's too much to bear. Have you talked it over with him? No, I can't. Well, where will you go? Home. Home. To China and a new life. You must help. Uh, make arrangements. No, please. I beg you. Give this to Ernst and let me go. I will never ask anything of you again. I have no power to stop you, Emily. You may go with my blessing. Ben? Yes, Mr. Weiss. The fellow here says he knows you. Make it quick. Hello, Ben. Sydney, you remember me then? Yes, of course. What do you want? Now, that's no way to treat one of your own, is it? After all this time, too. All that living hand to mouth on a desert island's blunted your good manners, Ben. Sorry. I'm shocked, that's all. How are you? All the better for seeing you, Ben. This your desk, is it? Um, Yes. Well, well, never had you down as the book learning type. I, I'm afraid you can't stay. Um, Mr. Weiss has very strict rules. Oh, I bet he does. Don't worry, Ben, I ain't gonna show you up. Just one of the answers to a few questions is all. Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Well, first off, who's this new addition to the Thomas family, this Joanna Robinson? When do I get to make her acquaintance? So, I got to wondering what had happened to our bed. Not hearing nothing. I says to myself, Sydney, I says, 
we ain't heard he's alive, but yet we ain't heard he's dead neither. And then one day I'm walking through the town and who should I see getting out of a fancy carriage with a lady on his arm, but old Ben Thomas in all his finery. <laughs> you didn't fool me, Ben. I knew you right off. I understand you're related to Ben on his father's side, Sidney. That's right. His father is my father's brother, yeah. the Thomases. There's hundreds of us, eh, Ben? You'll have to get to know us better, Mrs. Robinson. Please, help yourself. Thank you. So, Ben tells me your husband's up for murder, Mrs. Robinson. Nasty business. You're gonna get him off or what? It's been a very pleasant evening. And I like your family, Ben. I like them all, especially that young wife of yours, a very handsome woman. How much? What's that, cousin? Fitzhavid, how much to stay away and keep my whereabouts a secret? Why, Ben, I can't hardly believe my ears. Sydney, just tell me. Well, since you want to put a price on it, a couple of hundred should do. I'm a shipping clerk. Where can I find such a sum? You married into money, didn't you? Sell the family silver. Now you listen, oh, you listen, cousin. Unless you do what I say, you're gonna have 20 hungry mouths on your door. That could work out even more expensive. Whereas if you come up with a loot, I won't bother you no more. 10. I'll give you 10 and we'll say no more about it. <laughs> no, you don't get off that easy. The money's there. I've seen it for myself. I'll give you till tomorrow. You married into money, didn't you? Do you deny it? No, sir. I can't hear you. No, sir. What was your rank before you had the good fortune to meet Joanna Robinson? My rank, sir? On board ship. First mate, uh, captain, perhaps? <laughs> Order! No, the truth is you didn't have a penny until you met your wife. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Yes. Well, now, did you befriend two brothers on the Fury in those first weeks of the voyage? Yes, sir. And what were their names for the court? Jed and Seth Parsons. Why are you here, Emily? Tell me what you want. If it's not too late, I would like to make amends. You are lying. You think it is within my power to have David Robinson released, and so you come here to plead for him. I'm not here to plead for him, but for myself. It wasn't my fault we were shipwrecked, Wong Sing. And I confess, I allowed myself to wander from my true path, from my destiny, and for that I'm sorry. But it's not too late. I have left the Robinsons. I'm free. Nothing happened on the island. I've saved myself for you. I'm ready to return to China as your wife. And when Seth, the younger of the two, was murdered... Objection! Sustained! I'm sorry. When it seemed that young Seth had been killed, did you swear vengeance on the man you held responsible? David Robinson? I didn't know if... Oh, answer the question. Yes or no. Did you swear vengeance? Yes, sir. But that vengeance never came, did it, Ben? But then you came across the young woman who was to be your salvation, whose family will provide you with the means to which you have become so clearly accustomed. 
You betrayed your friend, Jed Parsons. The only man who ever gave a care for your well-being. And you wormed your way into the affections of that young girl. Oh, no doubt her family were only too pleased to have you among them. A small price to pay for your silence. No, I didn't... They used you, didn't they? They used you, and you were too ignorant to see it. No! I know, Bruno. Use him, too, don't you? We've gotten to find him. Come on, Bruno. Find him. Find Billy! You saw Seth Parsons fall and hit his head against the woodwork. Is that right? Yes. And in your opinion, was he dealt a fatal blow? I cannot say. Yet he lay quite still. Yes. And then his brother arrived. He examined Seth and pronounced him to be dead. Correct? Yes, that is correct. And did you believe him? Uh, it's sorry, a simple I... enough question, Mrs. Robinson. Did you believe Jed Parsons when he said his brother Seth was dead? I don't know. I would remind you that you are on oath. I will ask the question again. Did you believe the man to be dead or not? Yes. For the court to hear. Yes. Are you all right, Ben? You look ill. Mr. Weiss. I love Joanna, but I'm no good for her. I'm afraid I'll bring unhappiness to her and the rest of the family. I see. So what do you intend to do about it? I don't know. I'm at my wit's end. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised, my boy. You have the salt sea in your blood. I knew it the instant that I laid eyes on you. You're an adventurer, a man of action, hmm? not for your life of domesticity. Oh, I suspect that soon you'll be heading for the open sea once more. If you want to do that, I'll put money in your pocket so that you can at least leave as a gentleman. Uh, don't decide just now. Think on it. man ever done to you? Entered your cabin without permission, that is all? Yet when he lay there, dead or dying, did you administer to him? Objection! Sustain! And when the ship founded, did you seek his body to remove it to a place of burial? No! And you sought to hide your guilt away on that remote island for a period of two years! <laughs> Objection! Did you think the day of reckoning would never come? Well, did you? David! Your husband can't help you now. The day of reckoning is here, Mrs. Robinson. Objection! The day of reckoning is here. Objection! Objection, Your Honor! Order! 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 My father was devastated and lost all hope during the early stages of the trial. Could it really be that Wong Sin had enough power or wealth to pervert the course of justice? <laughs> <laughs>